Hey guys, this is Preston Abelik, and I bet once again with yet another reaction video. Today I'll be reacting to Stan Cole talking about whether his segment, I guess you would call it, with Mike Tyson was scripted or if it was ad-libbed. Now, again, absolutely classic, classic moment in the Attitude Era. And yeah, just that's all you can really say. It's like an epic moment that a lot of people claim was the start of shifting the tide against WCW. So I'm really curious about this one. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Recently watching that infamous promo you had with Iron Mike Tyson and wanted to know, did you Vince and Mike talk about things out of what you were going to say or was all that shit ad lib? Also, it seemed that when Mike Tyson pushed you, he pushed you pretty damn hard and far. How yep. was the whole Mike Tyson experience, if you can indulge in that? Dave Cincion from Van Nuys, California. Shit, Van Nuys, right down the road. If I threw a rock three times, I would hit you in the head with a <laughs> rock. David, appreciate you listening to the show. Uh, no, nah, man. I didn't know what Mike was going to say. I kind of nice. had the broad, you know, points about it. But it was, it was just a deal where Mike went out there and said what he said. And I got in his face and flipped him off, and he had to push the shit out of me because if he just barely pushed me, he'd look like a punk. Yeah, that's true. So he pushed the shit out of me, and if you watch that footage back, you can't see it very good. But I don't know where Mike Tyson was going after he worked at Monday Night Raw that night, but there were $100 bills that just exploded out of all of his pockets, <laughs> and all of his handlers are trying to pick up those $100 bills. Yeah, I'm trying to that. get back at him for a shoot. I remember Jerry Briscoe, I think Sarge was holding me back. I think Pat Patterson might have been holding me back. Briscoe had a damn death grip on me. <laughs> Wasn't no way I was going to get away from Briscoe. Briscoe's a uh, He was shooting. So it was just serious business. We was trying to make some money up in that bitch and uh, do a compelling storyline. And yeah. we accomplished it. And yeah. I loved working with Mike. He was a very intense fella. And is a big fan of pro wrestling, as a matter of fact, and knows a lot about the old champions from back in the old days. He's somewhat Ooh, of a wrestling historian. So I had a lot of fun working with Mike Tyson, and he's a very intense individual. I think he sounds really cool. It was ad-libbed and not scripted, which makes sense considering, number one, Stone Cold hates reading scripts, and number two, they have more freedom to do that kind of stuff during the Attitude Era. So it's really cool to get that confirmed. And also, then Austin said you probably can't see it too good, but from what I remember, you got a pretty good view of Oh, Mike Tyson's money just flying across the ring and everyone's scrambling to pick it up so he doesn't lose any. So yeah, probably going out to a bar or some fancy club after is my guess, but we'll leave that up to imagination unless Tyson himself has ever actually admitted to where it was. But Austin and Tyson was just one of their all-time great wrestling segments that myself and lots of you and probably a lot of wrestling fans in general will never forget. <coughs> Excuse me. And just hearing Austin talk about it was great. So yeah, thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell if you haven't already so you never miss an upload. I upload at least once or twice a day. But yeah, thanks again. I'll catch your ass down the road.